What's going on YouTube? This is Gemini and I am back again. Um, I do have a product review. Um, this is not vape related, this is not paintball related, but it is new a product, new content kind of deal. Um, this past Monday, well today is Wednesday, um, but this past Monday was my seventh year anniversary of saving for a firearm that I've been wanting for a very, very long time. Um, I've been saving for seven years. Um, what I did was I opened a separate saving account and uh, through a different bank, not the bank that I usually normally bank with, and every two weeks or once a month, I'll just throw something in there. Regardless if it's $5, $10, 200 50 100 whatever, I just throw it in there. And um, I've been doing it about for seven years, and I don't think about it, I don't care how much I have in it, I just throw it in there. So uh, this Monday was my seventh year, and I went in and checked to see how much I have. And um, come out to come out to where I looked at it, it was like, wow, I think it's that time. So I I, uh, I got like three thousand eight hundred and some change, three thousand eight hundred and seventy two dollars something like that. So I was like, man, I think this is time. So I took all the money out, I closed that account, and I took that money and put it back in my checking account. And I decided to look up around the Houston area and see who has a farm that I'm looking for. Uh, most of the high-end farms are in the west side of Houston, like Nighthawk, Wilson, Combat, Ed and Brown, uh, Smith & Wesson, Kimber, and things like that. But I'm looking for a 19 that I like. <clears throat> so I come across on Facebook, I found this shop. It's small, it's not big, like Academy or Sports Authority Goods, uh, Sport, Sports Authority or um, uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, store or anything like that. Um, uh, is a, it's a private owner. Um, I, I believe he owns that store, but it's small. It's probably as big as my room. That's pretty much how big it is. It's really nice. It's very welcome. And um, I looked on the Facebook of what he posted. He has a lot of Nighthawks there as well. Um, some Wilson uh, Combat, Kimbers, Ed Brown, H and K, and stuff like that. So you know what? He's only one on this side of town, on the southeast side of Houston that carries high quality firearms. Um, everybody else is on the west side of Houston, which is in Katy, Memorial area, and, you know, they're, they're, and it's a good quite a ways from my house. So like, man, this guy has a lot of selection, and then like, uh, board shooting range, um, they carry like maybe two or three, but they don't have a whole lot uh, of Nighthawks for me to check out. Um, about seven years ago, I had went to Tactical Firearms and I shot a Thailand, a Nighthawk Thailand. Um, I also saw a GRP as well, but I didn't get a chance to shoot that. But I shot a Thailand, a Nighthawk 1911-45 caliber, and I fell in love with it. That day, it's like I'm saving up for a 1911. Okay, so that day to this past Monday was my seventh year anniversary. Um, if I can do it, you can do it. If you want to go out for something and be, if you have the patience for it, and just do it. You know, do it. If I can do it, you can do it. You know, it's not that hard. Just don't think about it. You know, do your everyday life, pay bills, go to work, be with friends and family, and things like that. And you know, keep in mind, just keep throwing money in the bank. You know, on your savings account that you don't know how much it is. It's a different bank. Just. Have the account number, go in there, swing by, put twenty dollars in there, fifty dollars in there, hundred dollars, whatever. Okay, whatever, you, whatever you know doesn't hurt hurt you financially wise in your main checking account. So I've been doing it for seven years, and that's why it grows. So I mean, like, I called them up, and um, I said, hey, you guys open? What time do you guys close? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He said they close at five thirty today because he has something to do earlier. So they usually close at six. That's why I was on his Facebook uh, store posted. So I was like, okay, so I almost swing by. So I swing by and I pulled up. It's like a bunch of buildings together. It has like a garage and a small business, you know, different suits number, like suit one, suit two, suit three, whatever. So I was like, this is the gun store. So I pulled up and have cameras, you know, facing the store. And it says on the door, it says, if you, push the, if you ring the doorbell, wait 10 seconds, he'll open the door for you. If he doesn't, ring it again. So I got there, I ring the doorbell, 10 seconds, he'll open the door. He'll welcome me in. 
and uh, I told him I came here. I called earlier to say I was on my way over here to see what you, which are which your store, you know, your store is what's all about. So um, I went in there and uh, I looked around. It's a really nice place, you know. Is he? I believe he's the owner of it, and he has some itching cage and a lot of Kimbers and Browns, uh, Nighthawks, Wolves of Combat, and uh, things like that. And I asked, and he asked me what I, what I was looking for. I said I'm looking for a firearm. And uh, in my mind, it's like, I might get a firearm today, I might not. Who knows? It won't hurt to try. So, you know, that's how I was looking for a 1911. Um, I look up many guns he has. Uh, I have questions uh, about 1911 and brands and that. I ask him about them. He's very, very welcome. He's, he answers all my questions and about the knowledge of the product, of the brand, well, you know, things like that. Um, he does sell AR-15s, uh, SOCOM rifles and things like that as well. Um, very welcome. He didn't judge me, you know. He didn't push me to, to buy a product or anything. He just asked me what I was looking for and maybe he can help. So I told him, you know, I, I told him my situation, you know, I shot a Nighthawk and I'm probably leaning more to a Nighthawk. And uh, he, uh, what color scheme do you want? You want gun metal, you want black, you want silver, what do you want? You know, so I told him I want a gun metal color. So, um, he started busting out some Nighthawks out, and I looked them all, you know, not all of them, but most of all of them. Um, there's this one pistol that I saw, I picked up and held it, and I fell in love with it. And um, it's called the Nighthawk Shadowhawk Recon uh, 1911. Um, at first, when I saw it, I saw it had a RMR on it. Uh, I wasn't too fond of it, I just wanted a 1911, a full size with a 5 inch barrel. That has a rail on it, so I can add a flashlight. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't too much into the RMR, um, but uh, he had the same one, but a nine millimeter with the rail on it. No flashlight, no RMR, and like that. And I loved it. Oh, you have this in forty five. See, he doesn't. He's just the only one he has for nine millimeter, and the other one with the RMR with, with a flashlight is a forty five. It's like, oh man. Um, I fell in love with it. It was a 9mm, it was really nice. It, it feel really good, real grippy. It's a nice, really nice touch. Um, he also showed me uh, a, a Nighthawk uh, Fal uh, Falcon. I like that one too, but uh, the way the way, the way it looked, it, it feels good in the hand and everything, but it wasn't that very grippy than the one I held on to. Uh, he also showed me up the Wilson uh, Combat as well, 1911. Feels good in the hands, but the grip was different, so it wasn't too grippy for me, you know. So it was, it was good. It was nice. It was a nice Rosa Combat 1911. It was all black. Um, I also mentioned that I never seen or held a Wilson Combat uh, EDC X9. He had one all black. Um, he brought that out for me to look at as well. I held it up. I put it at the wall. I didn't like how that 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 pistol felt. The very back part where my between my thumb and my index finger how it wraps the back of the, the firearm it, it, it feels like it's more curved in smaller than the front and it's like I didn't like how it feels and it was a 9 mm it was really nice I was really looking forward to that one too if I if it feels good in my hands I'll probably pick that up in the 7 but um, it didn't feel good in my hands so I didn't get that um, so I ended up getting um, Falling for the Shadow Hawk Recon. Um, this is a store. It's called the Scope Smith um, High End uh, Gun Store. Okay, his name is Jose. Uh, real nice guy. Um, I believe he's in his late mid mid, maybe early mid or late sixties. I'm not too sure. I met the guy for the first time. Um, so uh, as he bring out like other guns like the N Brown to see the color scheme and the. You know, he has some that's four, uh, four inch barrel, four and a half inch barrel, but I told him I want a five inch. As he keep, you know, asking me, you know, show me different other firearms of the 1911s. And every time he comes back to me, to the front office, he keeps seeing me telling me, you keep holding that gun. I said, yeah, because I like it a lot. I said, well, you know, it has an MR, RMR on it and you told me you don't want one. I said, yeah, I know. So I was like, so I'm debating wanting to get this and that. So. I, so I have, you know, three thousand eight hundred dollars and three thousand eight hundred and seventy-two dollars that I got for my savings. So I asked him how much do you want for this night, how with the RMR and the 
with the rail and the fresh light, you want a 5200 for it. I said, okay, well, that's kind of kind of high. You know, a Nighthawk, you know, they, I didn't know how much it would sell at that time, but after I bought this, I looked up, it was 4700 So I understand that, you know, he needs to make some money for himself, you know, to keep this store open, which is understandable, you know. Um, but he's the only one in person on this side of town that, that carries high in firearms. So, um, the one thing he did for me blew me away because I can never, that's very, very rare. And I come, I come across this once in a blue moon, not all the time. And uh, when I bought uh, this firearm, he went beyond my expectation. He made me feel welcome. Okay, and I'll get to I get I will get to that once we do on the post purse on the item itself. Okay, so um, but the way he did it, it was man, it's like he made me happy. He made sure I was I left happy when I left the shop. You know, um, that's kind of a person type he is and. The, the, the way he did it, you cannot find that kind of customer service and to provide at an academy uh, store or a Dick's uh, Sporting Goods or a Sports Authority or, uh, or any one of those big uh, fishing stores. I think it was uh, Brass Fishing or I forget what it's called. It brass uh, Pro Bass, uh, Bass Pro Shop, you know, they sell farms as well. You're not going to find anything like that. And uh, I'll not tell you why, you know. Um, but first, let's go ahead and dive in, and I'll show you what I got, okay? So, let's dive in. Alright, guys, so let's see you do the cl up close personal with the brand, okay? So, I got me a Nighthawk, okay? Um, I finally got me one. This is my dream for seven years okay so what's in the bag okay uh, inside the bag you get a nighthawk bushing tool you get an empty shell that's been shot test fired with the allen wrench key you get a nice uh, keychain nighthawk custom keychain okay with a business card attached to it okay you get some Loctite, okay, never open. And you get an L wrench key with some parts. Uh, I'm not too sure what these parts are for, but uh, I know they belong to the, the 1911, but um, they were in the bag, so maybe I can ask someone or probably find out later on, okay? Let's put that aside. You also get a nice uh, Nighthawk custom uh, manual book, okay? Um, this one here is almost similar to a uh, Planet Eclipse uh, pinball instruction book manual, which I really like, okay? Uh, I'm glad that Nighthawk had put money in to design this book and uh, not have cheap piece of paper. It's a really nice book. It is colored and um, really well instructed, okay? Um, red font. Got pictures in here as well. Instruction manual. How to load. How to cock. Safeties. How to the bushing to remove your um, take apart your 1911. Pictures, part numbers, etc. Real nice touch. I like that. I really do. Okay. You also get a book about your your surefire. Um, well, not the book, but more parts if you decide to get more flashlights for your uh, your 1911 or rifle if you do. Okay, so a nice touch. Okay, put that aside. Here's the instruction book manual for the Surefire light. Okay, came with that. Um, comes with your hand good uh, safety act notice. You get a Nighthawk sticker. It's really nice. You get your test shot, okay, paper, right there, test shot, and what year it was made, okay, assemble and all that. Really nice, okay. Um, 
You also get this. This is uh, to our customers, do's and don'ts about your, about your firearm, okay? This is uh, just our way to say thank you for your for buying a pro from Nighthawk, okay? Yeah, you can order five clips for whichever material you want made out of. It's really nice touch. Um, this one is the Nighthawk Custom Warranty uh, Return Policy, okay? You got the Gibbs um, brand lubricant. This is the clean product here. I never used this product before. It is what it is. I don't know if I want to use it, but it was in that in the bag when I got the gun. Okay. So the bag. Okay. It has a nice pocket here. Okay. Um, when you open the bag. Okay. It has each and different slots. Okay. Um, these slots here is to hold your, your clips, okay? Obviously there's eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can hold eight here. Um, this is the Nighthawk extra clip bag. I took it out already, um, but I just leave it in there, okay? On this side here, it's very, very soft, okay? And on the other side, it feels like a, you know how you feel like a backpack? inside the backpack that's what this side feels like but, but this side here is soft you can put your your firearm here on the other side you can put your instruction manual whatever you want to put okay um, overall real nice bag okay um, this is um, his business card mr. Jose, mr. Jose real nice guy okay so as the guy will come to it My Nighthawk, Shadowhawk, 1911 with the R, with a uh, uh, Trojacon RMR and a Sure Fire flashlight. Okay, um, it's a uh, matte finish with with gray grips. I love it. I this is the gun that I fell in love with. Okay, um, I held it in my hand. It comes with the Tritium uh, night sights as well, right here. Um, uh, overall, I, I I keep picking up this gun. Okay, it, it, I've mainly fell in love with it. Okay, um, every time he keeps bringing up guns for me to look at, he always sees me keep picking this one up. So I fell in love with it. Okay, it's a real nice firearm. Okay, make sure it's not loading. Okay, every yeah, chamber is out. This is a 45 caliber. Okay, it comes with this clip. Okay, not hot clip. It's an eight round plus one, so nine shots total. So eight shots, the eight rounds in the clip, and one in the chamber. So it's eight plus one. Okay, this is a spare mag that came with it. Okay, um, so two mags and your night hawk. Okay, so what I like about this night hawk is that. I gotta do this other way. I love the trigger. I really do love the trigger. Now watch the trigger pull, okay? And I like the 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 the, the trigger. It's a flat face. It feels like a um, uh, a blade trigger, like my LV1 on my paintball gun. That's why I, that's why I like this trigger a lot. But check out the the crisp, okay? The shot. Well, it's, it's not loaded, but. I want to show you the trigger, how crisp the trigger is. Look at that. So crisp. Now check out the reset on this. Okay, the reset. As I slowly let go of the trigger. Right there. Look at that. That's how crisp this trigger is. Oh my god, I love it. Um, also, um, the package also comes with this as well. This is a Trujicon for the MR, for the RMR uh, red dot, okay. Open it up, nice packaging, okay. Obviously, this is nothing in there because it's already on my gun already. Um, you get the book, okay. You get the book, it's paper material, but it is still colored, so it's not so bad of a book, okay. You get your product summary, you get your registration form, you got an orange key, 
and some screws, okay? And you get your energy class sticker, okay? So I'll put that back in there. And put that aside, okay? What I was telling you about Mr. Jose, what I mentioned about how he went all out, okay? I got the firearm, it came with one clip and a spare clip, so two clips. With what Mr. Jose did for me, he asked me, do you have anything for your 1911? And this is your first 1911? I said, yes, this is my first 1911. So Mr. Jose did this for me, okay? He gave me two, hollow, two full box of 20 rounds of hollow point. A Wilson Combat Mag for free, plus another 100 rounds of full metal jacket, so I can break in 100 rounds on my Nighthawk. Who would do that? Okay, I have never seen anybody does that. Not Academy uh, Academy Sports uh, Sports Store, not Dick Sporting Goods, not Sports Authority, or any other sporting goods store that does this. Okay, this mag here is sixty dollars. Ain't nothing free in America. An American is nothing free, okay? He let me have this for free, okay? Who would do that, okay? Give me 100 rounds of full metal jacket, Wilson Combat, spare mag, so now I have three three mags, two full box of Hornady uh, hollow points, so I have something to use. Who would do that? No one, okay? That's very, very rare of people you meet that does that, okay? Very, very rare. This is what I'm talking about, why Jose, Jose will have my loyalty, he will have my um, full support, he, I will always be a customer for what he did for me, and I recommend it, okay, I really, really recommend it, okay, as his business card, okay, I'll also add a link down below the video to his Facebook link, you can message him, you see if you're looking for a particular farm, he can help you get, okay, so I really recommend it, okay. Um, now, this is the weight scale, okay? Make sure it's zeroed out, okay? So this Nighthawk, without, without the clip, it weighs two pounds, 13.4 ounces. That's how much this gun weighs. Okay. If I add the clip to it, okay. Now this FOD 1911 weighs three pounds, 5.1 ounces. That's how heavy this gun is. Okay. I like. The 1911, I like heavy, heavy 1911s. It's not made for everybody, but I like 1911s that are heavy. It doesn't, get, it, it helps you recoil a lot, okay? Especially when you're shooting a 45, okay? This is, this gun is very expensive, okay? I'm not really planning to carry this, but I do want to buy a holster for this, okay? But this gun is so nice, I'll use it for home, de home defense and some shooting range, okay? But to carry it, maybe. I don't know yet. But I don't have a holster, so I save money for that, okay? Now, you already know how much it weighs. This is what I carry every day. Every day, I carry this every day. This is an H&K VP9, okay? It's a nine millimeter. I carry this every single day, okay? And there is a clip here, and it's loaded. See how much it weighs. This is two pound, 1.7 ounces, okay? You gotta remember, this gun is poly framed, okay? The bomb is plastic. The top rail is aluminum or metal, but the, the trigger and the, the grips is plastic, okay? Without the grip, without the ammo, without the clip, I mean, One pound, 7.4 ounces, okay? So this is a nine mil, as you can see. It's a nine millimeter, okay? Something in the chamber. 
nothing, okay? But this is what I carry every day. To work, every day, I always carry this, okay? Turn that off. So, now I have HNK uh, VP9 Everyday Carry. And now my Nighthawk, my dream gun that I've been waiting for seven years that I've been saving up for, a Nighthawk 1911. I'm officially a in the family of 1911s now, okay? Also, another thing I wanna mention is that if you look real closely, if you guys can see it, you probably see that red dot. There you go, you see it? It's a red dot. Chujikon red dot. Okay. Also, flashlight. Really bright as hell. Everything works. Okay. I love this gun. I love this Nighthawk. I really do. Okay. So, let's uh, go back to FaceTime and I give you my thoughts and the pros and cons about them. Okay. guys welcome back to FaceTime so um, ever since I had this I got this gun I never put this gun down I always been holding it in my hand and just feel of it just feel of it and just man I love it <laughs> I love this it has nice grips front and rear serrations Good added feature for your uh, thumb safety. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful gun. Uh, I just love it. I, the the RMR, I didn't like it at first, but now it's starting to grow on me. So I'm liking it even more and more and more. You know, um, just like it a lot. Jesus, I just love this 1911. I really do. Okay. Um, but yeah, so Mr. Jose hooked me up with two box of full ammo of 20 rounds each box of hollow points, 100 rounds of full metal jacket, and Wilson Combat Extra Mag for free. He even charged me. Who would do that for you? Who would do that? No, I don't see any of the store who willing to do that. I, if I go to Tactical Farms to go and shoot or buy a farm from that, I bet you they won't do what they do. What what's the most whole day does for me, okay? So, okay. Um, but yeah, he doesn't even know I'm doing this video for him. But I'm doing this as, because I'm nice and help him to our customers as well and lead, lead you guys to the right direction of buying a nice farm for yourself if you guys really want one, okay? Um, what are the pros and cons of this 1911? May, two cons, maybe the second con, okay? The first con, since this has a M, uh, since this one has a R, MR, and a flashlight, it's really hard to conceal this inside waistbound in your pants, okay? Because it's so bulky, okay? So, you, I'm going to have to find a holster that goes on my waist but on the outside for me to carry this. Okay, that's the con. Okay, the second con is the weight. Okay, it's not for everyone, it is heavy. Okay, and for a handgun that's has made that way, it is. It's I like heavy guns because the you get a really good feel when you shoot it, it's really well balanced. Like like the the Nighthawk says, okay. Nighthawk custom says, one gunsmith, no one gun, one gunsmith. Each gunsmith, one person makes one complete handgun from start to finish. That's what I love about Nighthawk. Everything is custom fitted by hand, not by machine. You got Glocks, you got Springfield, you got Ruger. They have a mass production of making their own farms by machine. And they make a whole bunch of them, okay? Nighthawk, I know for sure Nighthawk, I probably should that. Nighthawk, Wilson Combat, and N Brown. I know the for, for a fact. Those three are hand fitted, fouling, sanding, correct fitment, tight fitment of your 1911. Okay? That's what that's why it costs so much because 
the craftsmanship from a gunsmith of making one pistol by hand, okay? With tools, but by hand, not by a big machine, okay? You pay for what you get, quality, okay? And um, you know what Mr. Jose told me? He told me, you're very smart. I said, why is that? He said that uh, when, I was in your, when I was your age, I buy cheap guns, you know, Glocks, Springfield, Rugers, and all that. Now they're just sitting back there collecting dust. I don't even use them, I don't even touch them. You know, I said, really? He said, yeah. yeah, but you know what I have now? And I said, what do you have now? He owns 18 uh, Nighthawks. He owns personally. And I think about two, uh, I don't know how many was a company yet, but I know for sure he has like 18 or, was I here? if I remember, either 18 or 20, 20 something, maybe at that, Nighthawks he owns. So it's like, God dang, man, you own a lot of Nighthawks. And those things are not even for sale. That's just his personal, you know, his investment. It's like, holy crap. But he told me that since you're buying a high quality firearm, you don't have to worry about buying another firearm because you're really happy with this. You don't have to buy cheap ones and just sit in there cutting dust because you're not shooting sure anymore. You're happy with your high quality with 1911 and your VP, your H and K. I said, well, yeah, you are right. You know, life is too short to shoot cheap guns. As I saw a billboard, a little, a little piece of wood he's having the wall. It says. It's too, it's too short to shoot cheap guns. And I laughed at that, like, that's kind of true in a way. So, um, but yeah, Jose is a really down to earth guy. He really helps you out. He goes out of his way to help you to look what you're looking for and make sure you leave happy or any information you need about a farm, he'll ask you, and you ask him, he'll tell you about it, okay? That's how good of a person that Mr. Jose is, okay? And for what other freebies he gave me, yeah, you will never find that anywhere like that. For what he do, and that's very rare you ever see a person works in a store, his own business, do that, okay? He will have a customer for life. I'll, he will have my loyalty for life from that day to now, okay? If I need something, I'll ask him about it, okay? Um, but yeah, back to the con. Um, one is it's bulky, it has a flashlight, it has an RMR, so you cannot hide your 911 inside your waist. It has to be on the outside because you got to find a whole set that fits on the outside. And thing, another thing bad about it is that it is a five inch barrel. I do want a full size 1911, which is a five inch barrel because that's my taste, that's what I want. But you know, it, it may may not show if you're not wearing you know, a long shirt to cover that up, you know? And I don't like to open carry all the time. I like to cover it, I like to conceal it. But that's one con. Okay, yes, you cannot put this 1911 inside your waistband. Okay, it has to be on the outside of your waist on your pants. Okay, second con, this may may not be for everyone. Okay, I love the weight on this gun. It's for me, but female shooters that may come to this, they're like, oh, it's too heavy. I cannot lift up or hey, it's not for everyone. It to me, that's not a con, but I have to mention it on this video to let other people know, female. If they're looking for a 1911, you know, hold it up, shoot it, see how you like it. It's heavy, are you okay if it's heavy for you or not? You know, I see a lot of female, um, you know, in the shooting range, they shoot Glocks, you know, like especially the 19s, because they're so light and then 9 millimeter and they shoot the recoils at the heart, and you know, females. You know, I'm not discouraging, I'm just saying that in general, okay? But it may be, it may be not for everyone for the weight, the weight of the 1911, okay? That's the only two things I see. Other than that, they're all pros. Really tight on a spring, crispy trigger, blade trigger as well. Uh, crispy firing it and reset is on point. One gun, one gunsmith. I love it, okay? So, um, on my other videos, I also say, yeah, if this gun breaks, will I go buy another one? <laughs> I usually do that for other products and other stuff, but in this case, not how would take care of you if the gun breaks, which I tell you highly, highly doubt this gun ever breaks, okay? But let's just make this a better example. If I lose this gun today, if I lose this gun today, will I go get another one? If money wasn't an issue, you damn bitch I will, okay? But it is expensive, okay? I paid 5200 for this, okay? And the GRP uh, Nighthawk, I think it was like 3200 I think, for it. That's why I was so excited, so excited if he had a GRP, I would've picked that up. But I fell in love with this one when I first saw it, it held my hand. I was like, man, I gotta have this one. For, forget the GRP. But, um, yeah, if I ever lose this firearm, will I go buy another one? 
I would. If, if, if I had the money, yeah, I definitely would. You pay for what you get. This right here is the Lamborghinis and Ferraris of the firearm war right here, okay? Um, they're, not, they're, they're not cheap, okay? You pay for what you get, okay? Um, other than that, all pros. I love it. I like the packaging. Yeah, it's for, for what Mr. Jose did for me and give me the freebies. I'm very thankful. I really appreciate it because I had nothing. When I first got this gun, I had nothing for it. No ammo, nothing. So I had to go buy ammo for it. I didn't have to. He gave it all to me. I just went straight home, relaxed. You know, I held my gun, loved it. You know, I keep holding the gun, keep playing with it, just holding it, the feeling of the really nice of the gun. Um, but overall, I'm all very happy. I can say that I guess this is a Christmas gift, early Christmas gift, forward slash birthday gift for me. So I spoiled myself, you know. But I've been wanting this 1911 for seven years, saving up money for seven years. Every nickel and dime, I saved and saved and saved until I finally got one, okay? If I can do it, you can do it, okay? Just be patient, just keep throwing money inside and don't think about it, you know? That's not hard. Um, well, that's my review and for the presentation of this Nighthawk, this lovely 1911. I'm officially in the 1911 family now, so I'm happy about that. Um, I finally get the owner 45. Um, this, this gun may be not maybe for everyone, but you get your hands on one, you own one, you probably be happy as me, you know. So that's my uh, video for the introduction for this uh, product review. Hope you guys like it. Please hit the like button below and subscribe. I will also link um, link a link through Jose's this the this the Scopesmith store for his Facebook link I will add the bottom. I'll also will add the link to Nighthawk Custom as well if you decide to go out there and see what other guns I like what they have and Mr. Smith can uh, Mr. Jose can get it for you if you want to. Um, and I also add uh, my link uh, below um, if you guys want to continue to follow. Okay. So thank you very much for watching and you guys have a pleasant day and be safe out there. Keep on vaping, keep on paintballing. I guess you can say add a two firearms to the channel. Okay. So thank you for watching. You guys have a great one.